presence of the prophetic. Amen. I need you to know, amen, and somebody ought to take some notes today. Hallelujah. The whales, amen, speak of access. Somebody say access. Access. Whales also speak of supply. Hallelujah. Whales, when you talk about whales, amen, it speaks of provision. Ha, I want y'all to get this now. Amen. When we talk about whales spiritually now, Amen. It speaks about blessings. So, so far we got whales represent access. Hallelujah. Whales represent supply. Hallelujah. Whales represent provision. And come on. And whales represent blessing. Hallelujah. And ain't nothing nobody can do about it. Hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Now, whales also speak of encounters with God. Amen. There are many, you know, you do a search in the word of God for whales. Amen. There's so many different encounters. I can't talk about them all. Amen. But amen, whales being encounters with God. I remember Hagar at one time had an encounter with God in the desert. Amen. Bible scholars. Amen. She was at a well because Sarah had put her out. And God met Hagar at the well. Amen. And instructed. See, you get instructions at the well. Mm, uh, uh, God gave Hagar instructions to go back home. Have I got any Bible readers in here? I see, amen, the Samaritan woman. Does anybody know anything about the Samaritan woman? She had an encounter. Hallelujah. I want somebody to hear, amen, that you had encounters with God at the well. The Samaritan woman had an encounter with Jesus. Is anybody praying for me? At Jacob's well. Whales also represent the Holy Spirit. Somebody say Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Jesus told, amen, that Samaritan woman, he said, the water, have I got to pray in church here? The water that I give you, watch this, it shall be in you, amen, a well of water springing up unto everlasting life. Open up your mouth and say, I got a well on the inside of me. Who I feel God. Listen, I told you that well speak of access. Well speak of supply. Well speak of provision. Well speak of blessings. Wells also speak of capacity. Can somebody say capacity? I don't want to be. De- I don't want to define this word, but listen, you can't hang with everybody because everybody, amen, cannot stand your capacity. Everybody is not meant to be able to hold the vision and the call that's on your life. You wonder, hallelujah, why you can't connect with this one and that one because they can't handle the capacity. Somebody say capacity. Capacity. Hallelujah. Come on, when I think about capacity, I'm back here again at Jacob's well. Hallelujah. Somebody say capacity. When I think about capacity, I think about expansiveness. I think about the weight. I heard that earlier. The weight of glory. Hallelujah. Everybody can't handle the weight that's on your life. I'm back here at the well. When I think about this word capacity, mother, uh, the Samaritan woman said to Jesus, Sir, you have nothing to draw with. I wish you picked me up in the spirit. You have nothing to draw with. And the well is deep. In other words, the call, the anointing that is on my life. The prophetic is deep. Can you handle my capacity? Come on, that's why some of us are single 
Isaac dug, amen, the same well that his father dug. Come on, talk. Amen. And he tried to do what his father did. You talking to God. Amen. He, he, he even began to name the well. This is the first excavation. Yeah. Yeah. He even began to name, to name the well the same thing yeah. that his father, father did. Yeah. But it was unsuccessful. Woo. Hallelujah. Because God told me to tell you, you are an original. Yeah. You are not a copy. You can't do it like nobody else. I wish I had a church in here. We were talking about resetting and hitting the reset button and recalibrating. Amen. God hasn't prospered us. Amen. Because we were trying to do it like everybody else. Talking in his house. It didn't work. His heart was right. Trying to follow in the path of his father. Hallelujah. But God has an individual anointing on your life. I don't have to look at you to prophesy to you. Hallelujah. So Isaac dug. That's the first excavation. And he called the well what his father called it. The second excavation. The Bible said that the servants redug. Watch this. And they called this second excavation Isaac. Hallelujah. And they called it Isaac because, amen, men strove with them. Watch this. Amen. They dig in the second well and they hit water. Oh, shut up. Come on, somebody. But we ain't there yet. See, amen, some of the stuff that we done been through, amen, is preparing us for the place that Open up your mouth and say it's my turn. 
I'm almost done. Hallelujah to God. The Bible said that they went to another place. I, I'm just going to drop that right there. You got to move. Come on, you get one there. Come on, son. Sometimes you got to take up your equipment to take your shovel. I will, come on, y'all. Help me preach the word. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about move to another church. And then maybe you're in a wrong relationship. Didn't nobody say nothing right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pastor, they didn't say nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. If you've been digging and digging and you ain't got no results yet, hallelujah. It's time to take your equipment, hallelujah, and move to another place. Hallelujah. Listen, when we get in the place that God has ordained for us, that is the fruitful place. I wish I had a church right there. Hallelujah. Come on, I want to be where God yes. wants me to be. I want to be in the relationship that God wants. I, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Say dig again. Don't stop get digging. Some of us, amen, throw the shovel down. Hallelujah. Give up. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Four excavations. Oh. Hallelujah. After the third dig and, I, and, and, and they strive with me over the well. Some of y'all would have just quit. Hallelujah. But God sent me here today to tell you don't stop digging. Dig again. Woo! This is your season. Yeah. Come on, here's your prophetic release. This is your time. Hallelujah. I'm here. A holy assignment to tell you the time is now. Now you ought to give God a praise like you really believe it. Glory to God. Open your mouth and say it's my time. It's my time. Come on. You don't raise, amen, kids. You don't raise your kids. Bible said, yay, God. The Bible said, then they went to another place. I don't want y'all to miss that. Yeah. And they kept on digging. Hallelujah. They kept on digging. Come on, y'all. Paint the picture with me. Kept on digging. I came all this way across 56th Street to tell you to keep on digging. Hallelujah. And guess what, y'all? On this fourth time, on this fourth excavation, on this fourth dig, hallelujah, the Bible said, you know something the Lord is showing me that, amen, those first three excavations, amen, you can, you can become used to, amen, to people hating on you. In other words, I see this in the spirit. Now they're in the place that God wants them. Holy Spirit speak. Now they're in the place that God wants them, but something about their expectation is they're expecting the enemy to come. And then because the you enemy see? showed you up see? on dig number one, he showed up on dig number two, the enemy was there to stop up the wells and claim the wells on dig number three. Now you on dig number four and you looking for the devil. To, I, I wish I had somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. But don't get sidetracked. Yeah, yeah. Hey, glory to God. Somebody give God praise. Yeah. Yay. They're at the fourth excavation, the fourth dig, and guess what? There was no one there to contend for this well. Uh, uh, you could have praised him right there. I don't know how long you've been digging. That cold shot. I don't even know what it is that you've been digging. Hallelujah. But God sent me here to tell you this is your season. We're in harvest right now. Give God praise. Hey. They moved to another place. I'm almost done. They moved to another place. 
and there was no one there to contend with them for this well. So they named the well. And I want you to take this home. It's a Hebrew word. Hebrew. They named it uh, I need you to let that roll off your tongue. Uh -huh. Rehobo. That's a poor shot. Rehobo. There's your prophetic word. Rehobo. Rehobo. They named it. Look, all the other names didn't mean a thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. But this is the place. Yeah. This is the time. Yeah. This is the season. Yeah.